simply fantastic. You have increased the range of an iron fly. You understood why people lose so much in iron fly because of peak. What is the reality? Number three, you can do the same adjustments of iron fly with the extended range. What else do we want? We not killed one bird. We killed three birds with one stone and we solved three problems. Big ones. Hi everybody. Welcome to another very special video. In this video, we are going to tackle your number one problem when you trade iron fly, it's gonna disappear. Ultimate extended iron fly advance safety tricks, how to make extended arms of your iron fly so you can relax, how you can make it double safe. Most importantly, what you need to do if things go completely wrong. As always, expect out of the box from this channel videos which I make is for serious learners who want to really make a killing out of trading. So today, one more leaf out of my book when you trade iron fly. As always, make sure to watch the video till the very end and do not miss it because just implementing a strategy, just deploying a strategy is just 50% of the job. That is easy. The rest 50% is how do we maneuver? What is the trade logic? I'm gonna go really deep down and uncover the layers of R and fly one by one. Knowledge which helps you make money. That's what we wanna talk here. Let's address number one problem with iron fly i know exactly the pinpoint is let me show you that so here we go on a simulator this is how iron fly looks and i'll tell you why is it so attractive to retail people who are completely untrained they think iron fly is some kind of a holy grail which is not now how to make an iron fly is very simple first you make an at the money straddle which is 22600 in this situation and you, then you buy wings now the number one attractive thing here for an untrained person is that he look at the risk and reward looks so good am i right i mean more than that uh, you know it's like double uh, maximum loss is 6700 maximum profit is 15000 right by just deploying these four legs as you can see now let me tell you one thing this is really a mirage because 15,000 is only and only available when market expires right at the peak. I want to ask you, what is the possibility that entire month market, you know, remains sideways and expires right at the peak? If you've been trading even for suppose two months, you will know very well that the possibility is very, very less. In theory, there is a possibility, but in practical term, that possibility does not exist. That's a number one problem. Number two problem, have a look at the iron fly. Tell me the range of it. Super tiny, whiny, wiggly range. Market can go up, market can go down. In both situations, you are required to do some kind of adjustments. And then when you sell options really at the money, the chances are that you are taking a lot of risk, huge amount of risk to get what? To get probably 1% in a month, something like that, right? And adjust it a lot. So we're gonna have a better way now. Okay, so clear. So let's see what else do we have. So these two problems, tiny little range and the mirage of maximum profit, which does not exist. We're going to have solution to this. We're going to crack it. Let's go to the next step now. So we're going to have a method, but uh, the same adjustments are applicable. The answer is yes. How is it possible? Let's see. Let's understand the complete trade logic, all the scenarios. Ensure to don't skip and watch the video till the very end. It's getting more interesting with every passing minute. Let's see what do we have now. So as we know that market is trading around 22,574 roughly. So what do we do? First, we are going to extend the range on the put side. And then we are going to extend the range on the call side. And then we're going to combine it all together with the iron fly and with our own special ingredients. We'll see how it looks like, what to do in the worst situation, in the best situation, etc. So here we go. What do we see is the market is around the same price. And what do we look forward to do? We look forward to buy and add the money put. Simple. Because your iron fly sort of ends here if you look at the payoff, right? Your iron fly sub you know, approximately ends over there. So we need to extend the range from the point the break even is of iron fly. So what do we do? We have to buy an option. So we buy it. Remember this calculation, whatever you buy, make sure to sell an option, which is approximately 50, 60% of it, roughly approximately, right? So exactly what we did. We picked the round figure because round figure has no liquidity issue. Okay. And then the second leg, which we are selling should be half of the leg, which we sold earlier. Let me repeat that. First, we are buying a put option, which is right there where the break even is happening somewhere around that. 
then 50%, 60% value we are selling upward because that debit we need to collect, right? And then we got to sell one more put, which is 50% value of the first sold put. Clear, when we do this, this is how the payoff looks. If markets continue to go bullish or remain sideways, there is not much of an issue. There is no unlimited loss. But if market comes down, you see this big hump, it's ready to capture the juice of the profit. Clear? Same things we're going to do on the other side as well, as you can see here. What do we do? We buy the call and then we sell the call, which is around 50% value. And then we sell the call again, which is 50% value of the sold call. Clear? You are going to extend the range and you want to maneuver your trade if things go out of control. You want to book profits really fast when things are under your control. And you want to do the same adjustment which you do with R and Fly, which is applicable when you combine all of it together. Okay, you want best of all the world. So let's see. Okay, now when you combine everything, we have already made it ready. So let me tick market all of it, the same strikes, everything absolutely same. How does it look like? So let me let me show you this. The main point of Iron Fly is that you want to make money regardless of where market goes. But the negative points of Iron Fly are so big that it does not allow you to, you know, have a peace of mind because it asks for adjustment on a continuous back to back basics and the peak is there is just for amateur traders just for an attraction point but in reality it does not exist having said that what happens when you buy the same legs on the call and the put side you see that your range expands really really massively as you can see over here point to be noted it's covering the one sigma move very very comfortably having an iron fly when you uh, you know, uh, do the when you buy the extra legs of call and the port to extend your range, you are literally decreasing your peak. As you can see, the max profit on the peak is 13,182 from 15, 16,000. So you're sacrificing your peak. Peak anyways does not matter, guys. I mean, really, right? Peak does not matter as you know it. So you're reducing your peak to increase it, increase your width. This is what you're doing so far. I hope it's absolutely clear for you. Range is big. If market go up or market go down, if market sustains a bet, you're going to have great profit. If market go down, there's not much of an issue. And iron fly legs, the first four legs which you see, you do your usual uh, iron fly adjustments, right? So many adjustments we mentioned on the channel as well. Really top shelf adjustments. You can do that. You can do reverse. You know, you can put your uh, the buying leg inside. There's so many things which you can do if you've been trading iron fly. Do the same thing, but just do not touch the extended legs. Those are there for your extra protection, right? Don't need to touch it. And there are some more points which I have to add to this. One thing which you must know when you add extra legs, obviously your margin is going to go higher, but you want to reduce your margin, right? So I'm going to have a commentary on that, how you can do it. Absolutely clear. Now, people been doing R and fly left, right and center without knowing that there are better ways to do things. Let's see what else do we have. Make sure to watch it till the very end. And by the way, if you really want to step up, your option trading to next level, want to get really top shelf content, all you got to do is simply WhatsApp on the number flashing on the screen. If you think it's a business and you can really crack it, you need to have better methods and upgraded style of trading, which is super easy to get. Just contact and just message, hi, I want to upgrade my trading style today. And you're going to have better methods like that. There's no need to hit and trial in the market unnecessarily let me tell you that time for very important points which you must know like i say just deploying a strategy does not really mean everything it's the tricks how to adjust r and fly now this is the uh, the playlist which you see here watch these videos do one thing keep 30 minutes one hour away from your your schedule it's your business okay learn better ways when you go through these playlists then you're going to get better improved way of doing r and fly you're going to get some tricks which will immediately going to jump your roi up or going to make you safer there are so many things which you can do so take out some business after this video immediately either you can get in touch for the better strategies or you can watch the r and fly videos to really have a finesse in your trading right can you do it in daily expiries using support resistance the answer is what do you think the answer can be the answer is yes 
you can do it. People love to trade iron flies during expiries. I'm aware of it. But because iron fly has so tiny, tiny range, it does not allow you. Am I correct? But now I've extended your range. So good job done. You can do it. But please do not do it blindly. Make sure that the market staying in between support and resistance. And people who trade US markets, American markets, right? They can do it. I know that you guys have zero DTE and you wanted to have better methods. But iron fly does not give you that. So you can have these, but make sure to exit completely as soon as the support or resistance breaks that's number one number two market just need to be sideways for around one hour to really give you an ROI so please do not wait for the you know uh, entire expiry that's not wise uh, keep a 0.5 percent ROI target on a daily basis if you want to do it right uh, because your risk is always in your control when you can do it because your risk should not exceed that's what the main thing is. You've got to cut it as soon as the range is breaking. There is no need to adjust it because gamma risk is huge. Okay, I've made a video on gamma. You can have a look at that. Nobody pay any attention to it. And that's the number one problem for option sellers. And people go, comp they lose their, you know, entire annual ROI in one shot because no one talks about gamma, but I talk about gamma. I wanted to give you full knowledge because at least if you're able to make your ROI slightly better or you decrease your loss by 50%, that's a win-win. Okay, how to reduce margins even more now? I know what you're thinking that iron fly has less margin you extend the range but you want to you know reduce your margin so i'm gonna show you what you can do now so here we go this is your extended iron fly range am i correct now obviously uh, extra margins are required because there is some na naked leg involvement one leg naked on the call side and one on the put side so what you can probably do is if you're trading on a monthly you can buy a weekly hedge really out of the money must be trading like around five, six rupees. I mean, super cheap. It's gonna give you protection, a lot of protection for any kind of gap up, gap down. Number two is gonna reduce your margin uh, quite significantly. And number three is gonna improve your ROI. So you're getting all these three things. Fantastic, very easy way to do. There's no problem. Liquidity is there. You can obviously buy out of the money. So many things we covered. Number one, we have covered that this particular method, how is it better than doing your default iron fly? Number one, it will ask for less adjustments. Number two, your range is really big, so you don't have to adjust a lot and it can, any kind of gap up, gap down, market comes back in range, that is okay. Number three, the same adjustments which you know for iron fly, those are not zero. Those are good and you can implement the same thing. Just treat your iron fly separately from the extended edges right so so many things can you reduce your margin the answer is absolutely yes so so many tricks up your sleeves now in just a matter of few minutes that's why hit and trial way of trading one must completely avoid you can elevate your trading game you can learn the craft in record time you contact on this number to get superior strategies those who are serious about this business less monitoring premium strategies are perfect for low stress trading so we covered a lot of ground i'm sure you must have really learned something good which you can put into use when you're trading iron fly next because it's all about continuous improvement getting the tricks of the trade getting better at your trading getting better at your adjustment and hedging when you constantly improve and you improve fast one day you will realize that you have covered huge ground and you are really making a killing out of it that's the whole idea about it don't do things which public is already doing don't do things which is popular this is stock market option trading it has nothing to do with hard work everything to be done with how do you deploy strategies what is your exit plan and what is your profit booking plan all right guys so that's it uh, from me today i hope you really enjoyed the video thanks for watching and like i always say you're gonna do so well in trading you will surprise everyone i wish you all the best bye